Welcome back, everyone. We're almost two hours away from Christmas, and all of us here at Fox 44 wanted to share our love from the studio to your home. Take a look at this picture we took. So the story behind this is kind of funny. I'm in funny. the same spot. <laughs> yeah, we all are just kind of awkwardly positioned. I'm Aww. in the middle. Haley's in her position. Parker, we kind of like are like the triangle, and everyone That's else so kind of filled in. But yeah, um, our technical director, Tim, he told us about taking a holiday photo yes, last he night. Did. So that's what we did. You know, Tim's up front. He's the man in the scarf. He's it's looking a very fashionable guy, right? Fashion. There. He really, really wanted a picture in his scarf and his little <laughs> leather hat. And he was so adamant about getting that picture. But let's let's hype up Tim. I mean, he's got some style. I mean, he came in here. He's behind the camera. But, you know, he, he could have very well been in front of the camera. As well, right. He looked like The Rock. That's what I was thinking of with like the turtleneck and the black sweater and the jeans. Yeah, Did Tim, you... Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Th they're Jason. the same person. Can you tell the difference? I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's a good look, good looking group of people. I mean, uh, really, so I'm just very thankful. I think for everybody that kind of makes this show run. There's a lot of things that you guys don't see behind the scenes. Yes. And obviously the people that have to come in, uh, us included, but you know, mm -hmm. everybody that has to come in during the holidays and still make this show go on. I think that's also, really Also, we wanted to give a big thank you to Miss Reem for buying us pizza. Miss Kate for, Reem, you're the OG yes. today. She thank is you our so savior. Much for the pizza. <laughs> and we also got crumble cookie. And if you've never had crumble cookie, go give it a try. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I think they're closed on Sunday, so, but tomorrow's Christmas Day anyway, so. <laughs> oh, bummer. Well, <laughs> don't get anyway. Crumble Cookie tomorrow. But yeah, thank you, Mom. Uh, it means a lot for that kind of support, um, just to have that even, you know, being, I don't know, 2,000 miles away. Um, I think that's what, I think that's miles. or 1,000. So Thousand, thousand, fifteen hundred. 1500 I'm not. I feel like that's. I, just I don't a know long the exact drive. number. I didn't do that. I didn't do that prep. But still, thank you guys for your support. My sister texted me just before the show saying they were watching even on Christmas Eve. So that that means a lot. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Reem. You're the best. Yeah. We love. If you. That's any any message that you guys get out of this newscast is thank you, Miss. Parker's Reem. mom <laughs> is the best <laughs> for the cookies. So exactly. Wisconsin. What about weather here? Can you weather here. You know what? It's going to be cold tonight. And actually, I had a little graphic. I I got to play this forward. And then I'm going to play it back so I can show you what little Santa looks like when he goes across this graphic. Hey, there he goes. Before. Look at that. I worked so hard on this. 19 Ooh. degrees tonight. It's going to be clear. All is calm. All is bright for your Christmas Eve night. Tomorrow, it's going to be a touch warmer. We're going to see plenty of sunshine, which is a good thing. But temperatures are going to climb into those upper 40s on your Christmas day. Again, waking up to temperatures around 19, 20 degrees or so. We're going to warm back into the 30s by about 9 a.m., lower 40s by noon, upper 40s by about uh, 3, maybe 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But tomorrow's going to be really, really nice. Uh, definitely make sure to still bundle up. It's still going to be pretty chilly. But the wind chill is not going to be a huge issue anymore. Okay, those winds have died down, especially from Thursday when they were just blowing out of the north 20 to 25 miles per hour. That was insane. But Brutal. Yeah, let's take a last look at your long range 10 day forecast again heading into this next work week. We're going to see a really, really nice warming trend temperatures back into the 50s, upper 60s and lower 70s for us. We're going to sprinkle in a little bit of uh, chances for some rain Thursday and Friday of this next work week. But hey, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. New Year's Eve is on Saturday. New Year's Day is on Sunday of next week. Temperatures in the upper 60s looks to be dry at this moment. Overnight lows are also going to go back into those upper 20s and 30s and 40s back into the 50s and 60s. There we go. There's a lot of numbers on this board. It, <laughs> our weather here in Texas is crazy. You're providing it. You're Look at it. I mean, we're having like a 30, maybe 40 degree temperature warm up from where we've been the last couple days. But yet it's still by the end of next week. on those days that it's 74 yes. degrees. As long as it's not New Year's Eve. I know I nobody likes to go out in the rain years. on New I'm Year's so Eve. I'm so excited. I don't know. I kind of like the rain, like a little just like feel like you're in no. New York or something. No. Like, All the girls out there are like, <laughs> what is he talking about? I just like being in the city and like it rains like in the big city. So you're like, oh my well, God. Well, you don't wear makeup. I Especially don't. when you have a full face of makeup don't. on. The rain is not it. Yes. Well, thanks, Haley. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, our website, fox 4 newscom We'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everyone. Good night.